suppose AB is the diameter of circle C in the XY plane with A at negative 10, negative 5, and B at 14, 13. What's the equation for the circle? So we have two points, negative 10, negative 5, and 14, 13. So these are the endpoints. The circle is going to go through both of those points, and we need to find the center. So if we want to go in between those points, we call that the midpoint. So this is where we're going to use our midpoint formula, which is an average. We add the x values and divide by 2. We add the y values and then divide by 2. So x1, x2, that's negative 10 plus 14 divided by 2. y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we get negative 10 plus 14 is 4. 4 over 2 is 2. Negative 5 plus 13 is 8. 8 over 2 is 4. So see how that point is right in the middle of our other two? That's the center of our circle. So 2, 4 is our center. That's going to be our HK in our formula for the circle. So remember our formula, we need to find R. So we need to find the distance from the center. And now you can pick either point. Doesn't matter. I'm going to use 2, 4 and the positive ones, 14, 13. And now we're going to use the distance formula. So this one has a lot of formulas. Oops. So x1, y1, x2, y2, and the distance formula is change in x squared plus change in y squared. So x2 is 14, x1 is 2 squared. y2 is 13, y1 is 4 squared. And from here, I'm just going to put the whole thing in the calculator. So square root of 14 minus 2 squared plus 13 minus 4 squared. So the distance between those two points is 15. And that's actually, that's our radius. That's what we just found. Our radius is 15. So now when we go back to our equation for our circle, we have all the pieces. Now we just need to plug them in. So remember, HK is the center. So 2, 4. And then R is 15. And 15 squared is 225. So x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 225. And guess what? I'm going to check my answer, right? I really want you to do that. x minus 2 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 225. Look, our center is right where we knew it would be. And it goes through those two points all the way across. That's the diameter. So we got it right. Now we just have to type it in.